There's that sunshine. That's two days in a row after that Sunday rain. You had a Labor Day with the sun shining bright and Tuesday more of the same. So get out and take advantage of it. The max track is going to stay looking like this free and clear precipitation. A lot of the active weather right now is up over the Great Lakes. They've had some severe weather. Green Bay, parts of Wisconsin dropping down around Milwaukee. Severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. A uh, line of severe storms moving into northern Michigan as well. Here we are eventually impacted by that system, but the severe threat stays up to the north. We'll have a cold front dropping in, and what we're going to see is a line of showers, some gusty thunder showers tomorrow, not today. We've got sunshine today. Here comes that boundary, and here come those showers as you get into your Wednesday, Wednesday morning. This is around 6 in the morning. That line will push east. So the best chance to hear the potential for thunder is going to be into the afternoon as we tap into that daytime heating there. You can see the line kicking up a little bit into the afternoon and then it's out of here. So if you don't see much in the way of rain out of that, you're not going to see much for a while. We have a ridge of high pressure building in. This will start to roll in and stay with us for a number of days through the end of the week, which means we've got some beautiful days coming. Projected rainfall, a few hundreds to a few tenths of an inch. This will be a quick hit. But you could pick up a decent shot of rain and then yeah, beyond that, there isn't a whole lot happening. Uh, the rain chance pretty much goes away until more than likely next week. We're getting into September. That's not a surprise. This is one of our driest times of the year. This breaks down the average monthly precipitation uh, and you can see our wettest month of the year, May, with almost five and a half inches of rain average wise. But September ties January 3.42 inches for our second driest month of the year. Uh, November number one spot. So yeah, we tend to start getting into these dry stretches here. Something that's not dry, a tropical system. Larry still way out in the Atlantic. Larry is still a big time hurricane, 120 mile per hour sustained winds. It's weakened a little bit, got into some wind shear and it's not moving all that fast, drifting northwest, but very obviously uh, the eye there in that tropical outflow, the upper level outflow. So Larry, is going to continue to gradually work its way north and then curve off to the northeast. So the only potential for landfall here, Newfoundland, and it would likely be extra tropical by then, but uh, they'll have quite a bit of surf and some riptides off the east coast, and it'll uh, pass just to the east of Bermuda there. 76 degrees in Lexington. We've got dew points in the 50s. The air is still very comfortable, feeling fine. And you can see that dry air that came in behind the front, that orange color. But uh, here are those showers, those thunder showers up across uh, the Great Lakes, uh, that green, an indication of the muggier air. So for today, a beautiful day, a day to take advantage of sunshine, a nice afternoon tonight, mostly clear, dry down to the mid 60s. The eight day, poof, that's going to be great. That run of days, once we get that front through here tomorrow, Thursday through Sunday, the only real change uh, there's not going to be much at all in the way of precipitation it will be a warm up. We're going to go from getting knocked into the upper 70s tomorrow after 80s today and then staying in the upper 70s through Friday back into the 80s. So we'll warm it up. Could get a skosh muggier late the weekend. Next chance for showers and storms. Chris, we're going to push it all the way off till more than likely the middle of next week. Looks like Tuesday at the earliest right now. All right, Tom, thank you for the update.